Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. There is a line segment of length C. By using this line segment as the axis of symmetry, we plot two squares that are next to each other. And their side lengths are x and y respectively. The summation of x plus y will certainly not be longer than c. By regarding the two squares as a whole, we plot their circumscribed circle. The length of the chord where the common side of the two squares lies is s. So, how big is the maximum value of s? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. First, we need to be clear of that. This question must be discussed in two cases separately. The first one is the case, where the circumscribed circle has common points with both squares, as shown in this figure. There is another case, when the bigger square is big enough, the circumscribed circle only touches the bigger square but not the smaller one. The second case is easier to discuss, because in this case, s is equal to y. And y is not bigger than c. So the maximum value of s is actually c. The first case needs to be calculated step by step. If its result is bigger than c, it is the final answer to the question. Otherwise, the final answer would be the c in the second case. Now let's go back to the first case. If we were to guess, we would probably guess that s have a maximum value when x is equal to y. This is actually true. But instead of guessing it, we're going to calculate it step by step. The center of the circumscribed circle must be on the axis of symmetry. Then, we denote its distance to the chord as, z. Next, we connect the center of the circle with a common point with the smaller square, a common point with the bigger square, and an endpoint of the chord. In the following, we apply the Pythagorean theorem for three times. In the first triangle, we write the square of the radius as, the square of half x, plus the square of x plus z. In the second triangle, we write it as the square of half y, plus the square of y minus z. In the third triangle, we write it as the square of half s, plus the square of z. We first consider x and y as known variables to find z. By using that the first two expressions are equal, we can get an equation for z. Then we apply the formula for the difference of square, and eliminate the common parts. So we end up with z equal to 5 eighths times y minus x. Then we bring this c into the equation composed of the latter two expressions. And get that, 5 fourths times x times y, is equal to the square of half s. So s is equal to the square root of 5 times the geometric mean of x and y. Then it cannot be bigger than the square root of 5 times the arithmetic mean of x and y. And indeed they are equal when x equals y. Then according to that, the maximum value of x plus y is c. We obtain that, in this case, the maximum value of s is half the square root of 5 times c. It is also indeed bigger than c. So this is the final answer. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.